What's up, Virgo? This is Soul. And Virgo, we're going to look at some energies for you in the month of February 2023. Um, and I'm using the Everyday uh, Enchantment Tarot to deliver your messages. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you who celebrate Valentine's Day. That's also in uh, February. So let's get underway here, um, Virgo, just to see what is potentially coming up. And keep in mind, this is just general en energies. Uh, that I want to take a look at. So, I'm, you know, more than likely going to cover all areas and uh, bases for you. Pay attention to, uh, you know, the major arcanas that are received. Uh, they carry a lot of weight. Okay. So, um, without further ado, let's get underway here to see what is coming up here for Virgo. Excuse me. Virgo, three good cuts, and we'll begin your messages. All right, so Virgo, the first card in energy opens up for us in February is your own. Two of Pentacles, and this is a little uh, minor juggling act. So always talk about, you know, you could be working two jobs. You could be, you know, interested in two people, dating two people, two people interested in you. Um, just having to juggle some little energy out. That could be stressed out outside of finances because the most simplest thing that you could, oh my gosh, that you could be doing is just trying to balance out your financial energies here okay i just had a deck that just fell to the floor anyway following the two of pentacles here now we have the uh, six of wands six of wands is victory and success is also a card of movement so you're either moving towards something positive in the month of february or something positive is moving towards you if you are traveling whether it's work related or vacationing it's safe passage to safe passage uh, from so you got the six of wands here following the six of wands. Now you have the nine of cups, the wish fulfillment card, the yes answer to all romantic questions in the form of uh, celebrations. Again, Valentine's Day, you can see that there is a couple here and they're celebrating. So we don't know whether or not they just recently got married or if they were celebrating a um, birthday or an anniversary, but it doesn't really matter. It's not an even a number of cups, but the energy that you uh, give to others is the same energy that you're going to receive back. Any um, thing that you hold dear to your heart in terms of, um, you know, some sort of wish that could be realized in the month of February. So following the nine of cups, beautiful energy. We have the magician, major arcana, two sides of major, uh, arcana, the magician It's like uh, manifestation, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested again, whatever your wants and desires. And I forgot to mention too, with the nine of cups, I equate that with the star card. So it would be the same energies, whatever you're hoping for, wishing for, and trying to manifest it may be realized in the month of February. Just uh, make sure that you stay um, in alignment, in alignment with whatever it is that you want to hold, uh, bring to you and hold dear. Um, because the universe oftentimes uh, tests us to see if what we really want and desire okay so the magician here is um still i read that you know separately because i read it as an actual person even though we have the character here he's digging the yard and the son is in the background watching his father i guess that's his father and um so but we have to be careful of you know people who are in our mix that want to simply try to extract stuff from us that could be family that could be romantic partners that could def definitely be uh friends and or co-workers okay all they want to do is extract something from you uh and they're only thinking in terms of themselves and not um putting any uh interest or investment into their thought processes to you and i know that's difficult for people to hear when i speak about these people on the negative end could be family and or romantic partners. Friends, not so much, but family and romantic partners, it does exist, okay? So just be careful, use your best judgment and discern accordingly. All right, following the major account of the uh, magician, now we have the tower. You are the second uh, 
energy that has received the tower cancer uh this opened up cancer's energy here so this is shocking news okay upsetting some sort of upheaval you can't control it so don't even try to control it uh it may just be something that not only um it doesn't personally impact you but it could be you know your environment it could be earthquakes it could be um i think in cancer's video at the star card which you know fell right underneath that tower i did mention that there could be some sort of meteorite crash or something in the month of february that we hear about it's always that shocking news the female's on the phone she's receiving something shocking in the background you have the building that's on fire you have the bolts of lightning things are coming out of the building so uh it could be regarded as earthquakes it could be uh anything that we um hear shocking related to uh the news you know it could be anything uh, under the politics, it could be the war, it could be, you know, still ongoing, anything, okay, anything that um, could be shocking or upsetting. I also picked up, too, that it could be, um, for some of you, just to be careful, uh, it does follow the negative energy of the uh, strangers that could be coming up and trying to extract something f uh, from you. Uh, so that could be shocking. It could be family members, it could be um, romantic partners, and definitely could be friends. But um, when it comes to the, you know, the sexual energies, because this is the month that, you know, uh, we express ourselves uh, because of Valentine's Day to the ones who are close to us. And so that could be all of that energy too, sexual, <laughs> sexual energy. Okay. So think about that. Um, but yeah, the tower is here. And so let's continue after the tower. We have the seven of blades. Somebody wants to return from your past. It could be a family member, it could be an ex could be a uh, platonic friend. All they, Like the magician on the negative side, all they want to do is present challenges and bring nothing new to the plate or the table. The fox, be very, very careful because the fox is indicative of always someone who is slick, sly, and um, not only mysterious, but cunning. Okay? Material things that, you know, resurface because you may have put something down, forgot about it, thought, you know, it was lost or stolen, and reappears for you um so i see that through the seven of blades and then following the seven of blades here we have the uh world card so here's the world that takes down the tower for you guys and it's a completion of energy so one energy um comes to some sort of completion a new energy opens up this is a relationship card and because there's a group of women there there could be something going on here with virgo in terms of um you know working with women uh could be specifically but it doesn't necessarily have to be but could be on like a project uh definitely uh anything that's family uh related could be co-workers that you're all coming in unison to work on something together um and that's not a bad thing so opportunities too may open up for you unexpectedly or expectantly in the month of february Following the world card here, or and also two, you know, relationships could be formed: platonic, romantic, and or business. We have the hangman, Major Arcana. So when it comes to decision making, making moves, uh, Virgo, you don't have to rush. That's simply all that means. Hanging in the balance, sitting on the fence, um, but you know, the hangman is hanging because he has all the time in the world to correct himself and put himself in the upright. All right, so there's the Hangman Major Arcana, which I always regard as neutral energy, just like the Hermit. All depends on you and what's going on with you. Ace of Pentacles, the financial improvement here. If you were juggling with the Two of Pentacles, then here's the money that is indefinite. Uh, undetermined amount of money could be coming in. You may be starting to, um, you know, save money, invest money. Underneath the Magician, that could be the manifestation, you know, making your um manifestation in terms of your you know improving your financial situation things get better though however with the ace of uh pentacles because that's the start of something new so yeah business it could be you know like i said forming a business wanting to start a business this could be the job offer this could be a contract offer uh and you have that last card is um for you is the five of cups okay emotional disappointment and upsets it's underneath the tower. Okay. Underneath that tower here specifically, then there is some sort of uh, disappointment that may be coming um, towards you. Um, Virgo, uh, based on the energy...
that the tower is over top. This is just general information, me, um, you know, giving you what I feel could be the potential that uh, could express itself. But when I see certain things that I know that I feel that someone is definitely going to feel this energy here. Okay, because this is the, um, if the five of cups is the tower, because I always tell you the tower, the nine of swords, the three of swords, they show up for a reason. But when certain cards lay under top or, you know, underneath or side by side or over top, then there's some sort of significance for me to look at this energy to say that there is definitely going to be somebody who is going to feel the brunt of this five of cups and it may be associated with the tower. How it's going to uh, turn out is, you know, it's yet to be, you know, realized. This is all predictive energy that I'm giving you. This is all predictive energy that I'm giving you at this moment. So, you know, you know that emotional loss and disappointment, sadness, um, in this particular scenario, she's in a graveyard, okay? She's over uh, a tombstone. So it could be, you know, uh, something to do with a pet or something to do with, and then there are spirits behind her. Um, so it could be anything regarding um, some sort of, uh, I never forecast any, you know, death or anything like that, but it may have something to do with, um, not you personally, but when the shocking news comes in, it may be something catastrophic that happens to other people, and we just happen to hear about it, know about it, and, you know, hopefully it doesn't come to pass, but this is what I'm seeing. If not, then it could just be, you know, you experiencing some sort of emotional um, or feeling some type of way emotionally. And keep in mind, too, Virgo, it may not be you. Because it could be family members, it could be children, it could be definitely uh, romantic partners and or friends. It all depends on how it's going to express itself. So um, you do have the um, magician that's going to take down some of the energy on the positive side of the tower. You also have the world card. We still have the shadow energies to do for you. And um, shadow energy here is the ten of cups. Okay, this is all about family. This is, could be a wedding. Uh, celebrations, Valentine's Day once again, even number of cups, the energy that you give to others is what you're going to get back. That's the Ten of Cups. Then we have the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is, um, I call it my insecure card. So when it comes to love and affection, holding, withholding love and affection towards someone or someone is doing that to you. Could be still getting a small pay raise. Could be still um, saving up for something greater. All right, so that's the Four of Pentacles. And then we finish off with the Four of Wands. I'm sorry, the Four of Blades. Four of Blades is a rest, relaxation, rejuvenation, having to detach your energies, take a break by yourself, do something that, you know, uh, doesn't include the attachments of your work, your, you know, your family, your romantic partnerships, your platonic friendships. And since we don't have, yeah, we do have the Six of Wands, so that's uh, movement transportation so you could be planning a trip in the month of february and executing that trip uh at the same in the same time frame whether it's work related or vacationing it's going to be taking place all right there's some traveling going on here for um virgos in the month of february all right so virgo this is what i have for you again in the shadow the four of blades we have the four of pentacles we have the ten of cups all right, so take what is necessary, leave the rest alone. This is just me interpreting cards. Like I said before, these are no one's personal readings, and it's all for entertainment purposes only. So just be safe um, all year long <laughs> next year, okay? Uh, but definitely be safe in the month of February um, and see what happens. You know, just see what happens and see how that uh, energy expresses itself. Um, I would like the feedback. I definitely would like uh, the feedback coming through. All right. So, but in the um, immediate, just continue to uh, keep smiling for me. Everything is going to be all right. Anything that I interpret here, you have the free will to change. So nothing is set in stone. All right, Virgo, I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.